What's up, YouTube? This is Mighty TX. Um, I'm doing a little video here because I've been working. I'm a little bored. Well, actually, I'm not that bored. So I'm a starving nursing student in an LVN to RN program, and my trusty Litman Classic 2 had a stuck bell. So I was about to go listen to a patient that was on a ventilator. You know, patients on ventilators, they have really interesting breath sounds. Um, the ventilator takes over to the point where you can barely hear the patient's apical pulse. So my teacher said, oh, well, how about you turn your bell so you can listen to the heart sounds better? Well, I couldn't do it. It was stuck. So I'm at work right now and I decided, let me try to get this thing unstuck while things were going slow. So this is what I got together. I got some alcohol pads, or you can get some uh, rubbing alcohol. That'll probably work as well. And some power duster and hand sanitizer. Let me run and get that. Hand sanitizer. Whew. Okay, so um, what I did. So, like I said, I couldn't turn this thing worth anything. I got it turning now. Um, first, you can easily take this off. This is the uh, diaphragm part, right? The diaphragm is for the low sounds, like lung sounds. So you just pop it off with your thumb. Be gentle because it might break. See that? Pops off. See what you got here? So the other side is the bell. So this is for my high pitch sounds, more high pitch sounds. Pop this off with your thumb. Cool, right? So another lesson that I learned, these things get freaking gross. I mean, the nastiest crap just grows up under it. So it's good to give it a good cleaning with alcohol wipes or sandy wipes or hell, anything. And you'll come up with some brown stuff. Um, mine's pretty clean because I already cleaned it. I just want to show you guys my new discovery. <laughs> so what I did, right? Like I said, it was stuck, stuck, stuck. So I started shoving alcohol, I mean, uh, hand sanitizer in the holes. <laughs> and... I rubbed it in and I kept messing with it and messing with it, but I couldn't get the rubber. The rubber was turning. It wouldn't get a good grip. So I found that you can also pull the whole thing off. It takes a second. <laughs> Dang, hold on, let me see. Okay, so you can pull this off, right? Pull it off and then I took some gloves, because I mean, this thing is really sharp right here, and you wrap it around really good, and I kept going at it and going at it, going at it, and finally, boop, it was free. So I was able to freely turn back and forth, didn't have to buy, buy a new stethoscope. I love this stethoscope. It was given to me by a friend. And so, last problem is, I got all this damn gunk in here, right? So. I mean, all this hand sanitizer, and it's going to take a while for it to dry. So you can just wipe it off real good with a tissue, wipe off the excess stuff. But then you remember, you have some inside this little hole here. So you wipe it all off, blah, blah, blah. Da, 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 da. All right. That's where this comes in. So you can easily stick it in the hole here. and just spray. All the excess crap will come out. If there's any dirt way in the inside, it comes out. You turn it again, right, to bore, to show, whoops, sorry. Turn it again to show the hole. We're on the diaphragm side, stick it in the hole again. And 
with all that extra stuff coming out. See? Nice, huh? So, that is my fix for a stuck head. And just keep wiping off the excess stuff. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. I'm going to come up with other videos of silly stuff. You know, if there's anything you guys want me to go over, so I'm a nurse, I'm a Hot Wheel collector, I, I uh, knit, and I do a bunch of other crap. So if there's anything you want to learn about, let me know. Hit like and subscribe. Thank you.